I had the, the wonderful pleasure of taking a little vacation trip for the, the first time since our baby was born to, uh, to Vegas before Christmas with my husband. Wasn't that great? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was fantastic, wasn't it? And dear, do you recall, um, do you recall after a few cocktails what I said about our room? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas? No. No, no, no the other thing, the other thing. Oh, uh, yeah, she said, um, I think this room is more uh, interesting, more a better designed space than many of the houses that I've been in lately. Bingo. The hotel room had more character than many of my clients' homes. What is wrong with that? It's a very bad thing. And I, I blame, should I use the word blame? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, I blame Pottery Barn for much of it. <laughs> And I worked for Pottery Barn for three years. Yes, I was a merchandise manager for them. And Pottery Barn is, is great because they, they, again, brought awareness to the idea of decor to everyone. Do you guys remember the, the episode of Friends where Phoebe went to go purchase the apothecary table and she printed, pretended it was an antique? And yeah, um, so it's, it's absolutely invasive. When I worked at Pottery Barn, uh, occasionally we would get in some pieces of art that, that were pretty interesting, but again, there are how many thousands of Pottery Barn stores, and, and there are lots of them that were available. And I had uh, one lady come in who's very sweet, and she was shopping around and said, I just want something new for my living room. I wonder what you have. And she was looking around and came across the piece and said, that, 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 I want that. And was very excited about it. So we wrapped it up, and she took it home. And she wrote a check, so I you know, checked her address and everything. The next day, another lady came in. She was walking around going, boy, you know, I just really want to be different. I want something nice in my house. And I wonder what, oh, that, 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 that. And was very excited about it. And she said, nobody else is going to have anything like that. This is your last one, isn't it? I said, yes, it is. She said, yay, yay. And she was filling out a, a catalog order for something else. And I noticed that her address was three doors down from the other lady who bought it the day before. So they think that they're getting the most spectacular, wonderful, unique thing in the world, whereas not because 15 million other people in America have it. And that is the same as a hotel chain buying 500 of the same thing to put in the rooms, although the um, Mandalay Bay did a lovely job of making each room very nice in Vegas. The difference between personalized style and, and what I call pret a decorate. If I say pret a porte, do you know what I mean? Ready to wear. So it's the difference between couture and ready to wear, which is available at any, you know, uh, clothing store. Um, Preda decorate is basically the same thing. It's it's the ready to wear of of decorating. It's it's pottery barns, the stuff that you buy in there. I I challenge you to think outside the box. To think, what else can I do to decorate to bring my personal style into it? What else can I frame? What else can I, I use non-traditionally as a piece of furniture? What else can be interesting enough to make this feel not like a hotel room? And that should be your goal. Because if you walk in every day and you see that space and go, yeah, and it makes you happy, it's not just a place that you come home. Because you could live out of a hotel. You could come home from work every day and go, yeah, I'm here. Let's watch TV. And there we go. But if you walk in and go, boy, I love that piece. And that reminds me of the vacation that we took and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And you know, if you, if you think about things that way and decor that way and make it special, then it, it becomes an active thing. And remember, design is a verb, not a noun. <laughs>